We basically have three methods to treat glaucoma, medicines, laser, and surgery. In the past, once we had exhausted the medicine and laser option, the only surgery we had was pretty uh, risky. There, it worked very well, but there was a fair amount of risk involved. So you're going from medicines and lasers, which are quite safe, to a fairly aggressive operation with, with very little in between. And so that made it a, a management problem. We'd push medicines to the limit, and sometimes patients would have toxicity uh, from the medications because we were trying to avoid surgery. One of the major advances that we've had in glaucoma management in the last several years is we've populated that middle ground between, between medicine and laser and more aggressive surgery. We've populated that middle with a lot of very safe procedures. So the first one to meet that, uh, that description was the eye stent. The eye stent is a, a tiny little micro stent. When I say tiny, I mean tiny. The dimensions of the eye stent are 0.3 millimeters by one millimeter. And remember, there's almost 25 millimeters in an inch. So this is uh, 1 25th of an inch, basically, in one direction and 1 75th of an inch in the other. It's the smallest device ever implanted in the human body. And we implant eye stents at the time of cataract surgery to prop open the eye's natural drainage system, if you will. And we were involved in the, in the U.S. trial to determine if eye stents should be approved by the FDA. Patients with mild to moderate glaucoma were randomized to cataract surgery alone or cataract surgery plus one of these micro stents. And the beauty of this study was that there was no difference in vision outcomes between cataract surgery alone or cataract surgery plus a stent. There was no difference in complication rate or side effect, but the patients that received the stent were more likely to be off medications or on less medications than the group that got cataract surgery alone. So it was unprecedented safety uh, with modest benefit, modest efficacy, but incredibly safe, which is really what we were lacking at the time. We have operations that lower eye pressure dramatically, but when you perform one of those surgeries, you're taking on a little more risk. So that's fine in patients with more advanced glaucoma, but for people with very mild or maybe moderate glaucoma, we're unwilling to take those risks.